welcome to another episode of Big Ram Racing. Today I'm going to be servicing the car, I'm going to show you how to. What I'll be doing today is plugs, oil, oil filter and I'm also going to do an engine flush just because I like to keep her clean. I like to look after her. She gets a lot of ammo so I've got to keep on top of maintenance. But first I want to talk to you about my clutch. The clutch has started slipping, well it started slipping about a thousand miles ago, maybe. It just used to do it in sixth if you tried putting power down, it didn't really low revs. But now nah, it's come to the point where it started to slip in each gear, gradually getting worse, so you can't put any power down. Being at stage three, that's that's pretty useless. So, and I've been stage three for about twenty thousand miles. Uh, I've given it a lot of ammo on drag strip and stuff like that. So, I booked in for a new clutch, new flywheel. And I'm also getting wave track diff. So that's a pretty big modification. See some benefits on track. Um, yeah, so just driving to Alfords now to pick up some engine flush and then we'll get started. I've got all the way to my mate's house and I forgot my special spark plug socket. What a spanner! Pardon the pun. <laughs> so I'm going to go all the way back. We don't have my mate's house because he's got a pit in his garage, so it's, not, it's a lot easier to drain oil and everything. So, start again. So today we're doing full service, well not full service, but it's a, a good service. We're going to be changing oil, filter, spark plugs. We're also going to be doing an engine flush. I've got my trusty spark plug socket with a magnet end really helps, get them from Al Alfred's if anyone wants to know. Then I've been and got myself a funnel and a tray for oil. So let's get started. Right, first step, take your engine cover off. What we're going to do is we're going to get this engine flush in, run it for 20 minutes with it in for it to get all contaminants off, outside, off inside the engine and then we'll go from there. Kind of Red Bull. Looks like Red Bull, now. Put the cap back on. Now start her up. So we've let it run through for 20 minutes, we're going to let it cool down for 5 and then once it's uh, partly warm we're going to drop oil so it's not clock cold so it's easier to drop oil and then we're going to change filter, change oil, job's done and then we're going to crack on with spark plugs. It was a bit warm. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some Euro cut parts. That rubber washer just fucked up. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. Smell that stuff. Is that better? Worse? Better? So, we forgot something. We, uh, the sump plug, uh, the little rubber seal that goes around it, it disintegrated. So, I've just sent my mate to Euro Car Parks while I stand down here and pit, make sure this oil drains out right. They didn't have any just the seals, of course they didn't. They had the full kit though, that were £4.50 or something daft, so sent him round for one of them. We'll get that on. And then we'll uh, take this filter off, put some more oil in. Put new filter on as well. So, what I'm going to do is going to get a bit of this oil. I'm just going to lube that washer up so it doesn't break as soon as you tighten it up. So I think that's what happened last time, I must have not lubed it up enough. So that's his bolt. Get your new filter. Get some of this lovely stuff. Pretend it's your first girlfriend. And then it gives a proper seal when you tighten it on. And it proper seals it then. Not get no leaks. And it won't break this rubber washer that's uh, around it. So that's that done. We'll get this uh, old one out. Right, so this is your oil filter connected to your oil cooler. Your oil cooler connected to. No, I'm just kidding. Right, this is your oil filter. Uh, get, get your um, tray ready for some oil coming out. It shouldn't be on tight, too tight. You should just be able to twist it off. Mm. Long thread on it. <laughs> there you go. So you just pull it out there. Watch out for any oil splashing out of it. There we go. Ooh. Put my oil in. It takes four and a bit litre, so put three and a half in and go from there. Start slowing down. So get your funnel in. Just start pouring. So when you're checking your oil, you want your oil to be between the minimum and the maximum mark. As you can see here, it's just below the maximum mark, so that's perfect. That right to get the coil out for the spark plug, what you need to do is an eight mil. You undo that uh, the bolt there, that bolt there, and then this grey tab. You pull it out, and then you press it down, and it just unplugs like that. And then, like I said, them two bolts, and it's out. spark plugs look like. They weren't too bad but you might as well just do them ain't you. Do you reckon it's gonna start? I don't know. I hope so. Right, so today we've done an engine flush, we've changed the oil, changed the oil filter, we've changed the spark plugs. So now she's up and running and we're all done. I'd really suggest if you uh, want to try it, just give it a go, you can't, can't really go wrong. 
there's loads of videos out there on YouTube to show you what to do and re you really save a lot of money a lot of money over the years doing your own service